It's a primetime matchup for Seattle on Monday at MetLife Stadium. Hello 12s, I'm Jen Mueller with a preview of the Seahawks week four contest against the Giants. One that includes Jamal Adams for the first time since week one of last season. Another playmaker, energy, um, you know, his energy on the field is so contagious. It builds the, um, and uplifts the whole team. MetLife Stadium is familiar surroundings for Jamal who played there as a member of the Jets. Julian Love also called that stadium home as a member of the Giants. He'll be facing the team who drafted him for the first time. Just another uh, a playmaker that's going to help our team. As a defense, the Hawks have limited opponents to 2.9 yards per rush attempt. That's third lowest in the league. Giants running back Saquon Barkley has been limited by an ankle injury, but they'll be tested by quarterback Daniel Jones. Yeah, he is a true dual threat. It's a different challenge for us this week. Jones and the Giants offense have found limited success this season due in part to the number of injuries up front. They've averaged just 14 points a game and Jones has been under pressure on 46% of his dropbacks and his four interceptions through three games are one off his 2022 season total of five. I think the biggest thing is not allowing him to use his feet to make plays. I think our job is to make sure he feels the pressure. Seattle's offense, meanwhile, amassed 425 yards against Carolina. Kenneth Walker III earned NFC Player of the Week honors after rushing for 97 yards and scoring twice. He sets the tone, especially in the running back room and especially uh, you know when we're out there. Walker and Zach Charbonnet could see a lot of opportunities against the Giants defense that allows an average of 138 yards a game, one of the highest in the league. Third downs continue to be a point of emphasis as Seattle is converting on just 30% of their opportunities. Expect the Giants to try to capitalize. New York's blitz rate of 53% is the second highest in the league. Yeah, they're very aggressive. They, they, they take uh, um, risks you know, that a lot of coaches don't, you know, aren't willing to do and, and is trying to be disruptive, and he is. You know? Oh, and there's just one more thing. No team has a better winning percentage on Monday Night Football than the Seahawks, and Seattle is 4-0 at MetLife Stadium.